right guys today I have a ZTE Maven 2 model Z831 Android version 6.0.1 so it's got the latest update as of October 2017 as you can see this device is Google account locked if you have something similar or facing the similar problem I want to be showing you guys how to completely remove it remove it and uh, you should be back to using your device in no time what you're going to do first is connect to Wi-Fi once you have done so you're going to proceed with two fingers on the screen continue touching the screen until you hear a beep to enable accessibility mode accessibility mode enable accessibility tutorial when exit button Exit button. Exit button. Exit button. Exit button. Welcome. Now, depending on what model ZTE phone you have, sometimes you would have to press volume up and down at the same time to enable talkback. But in my case, I would have to enable that. So if uh, you can press that, hold tight, and while I explain the rest. But if you, if that doesn't come up, if talkback doesn't come on or disable. I mean, yeah, that's what I meant. If it doesn't disable using volume up and volume down at the same time, then uh, you would have to follow this step. You would have to make an L Language, on the screen. English button. Touch the screen and explore in a circle to find an item, then lift to select. So you got three options. You got to look for talk back settings. Talk back settings. Talk back settings. And two fingers on the screen. Showing items down. 13 to 21 of 30. Showing and enabled. items 23 to 30. Talk back, suspend, and res. And like I tried to mention Talk earlier, Talk some ZTE phones Talk would be automatically Talk enabled backs. once you Talk activate TalkBack. Some don't. Just like, just like this phone, it's not enabled. So I, I have, or you would have to enable it. Once it's enabled, make a U. Let me just exit out of here. Back. Welcome. Now make a U. Overview. There we go. Application info. Google search. Showing items. Google search. Google app. Now once you're to here in the Google screen, now you can use volume up and volume down. Alert suspend talk back. Are you sure you want to disable okay button. talk back to make a maneuvering the screen more easier and uh, again some ZT phones are different some if you if you, this is the same model that you're using so just follow these steps but some are different what you're gonna do now is type Android I'm sorry I'm having a hard time and and this should come up stock Android now if you're on a ZTE phone that the stock Android doesn't show up um, this video is not gonna help or not work for you so I'd rather just save you some time um, but if it does show up uh, just keep watching the video so once you get stock Android to come up and you will be here on the home screen and what you're going to do now is go to Google. The reason I'm saying is um, look for another video. If stock Android doesn't come up, it's because I'm still currently working on one and stock Android doesn't come up. So I'm still trying to figure out how to uh, bypass Google on. Now type in Google. It should come up Google. Once you're in the Google screen, you're gonna type this phone's a little slow. You're gonna type test. 
D P C. Whoops. I don't even know why I did that. But anywho, just go back. Just type in test D P C and look for the one that says 3.011 APK. It should be the first one that comes up, apkmirror.com. It may be my connection that's running a little bit slow, so that's why it's going turtle speed. Now, once you get to the screen, you would have to scroll down and download the APK again. Every ZTE model is different. If you're using the the same model as I am, um, just hit download. It should it should uh, pop up with the Google screen asking to allow. This here we go. And um, okay. The reason I'm saying every ZTE device is different is right after download is complete. Uh, open tab would come up here on the bottom right hand corner in my case uh, if it does come up just hit the open button and sit tight and wait till I get to that screen but if it doesn't come up just in my case it didn't come up you would have to go all the way back to the menu screen Here we go. Once here, we're back at the main menu screen. Why am I using this menu? Um, you would then go to File Manager, where it says Download. As you can see, there's one. Once you get to this screen, you should see the APK file. What you're gonna do is go to Settings and Enable Open Sources unknown sources I mean and this would allow you to install the APK file once you have it enabled go back and here we go this is where we would pick up if you were able to open it earlier you would install it now this APK is crucial if you were to factory set the device without installing this first you would be back to square one where you would have to know the email and password but once you have this installed you would no longer need email and password you can fa factory set it set up device owner there we go Now you should come to the menu screen. As you can see, this um, menu is not, oh yeah, I was gonna point out, the screen would move like this. Not to worry, it should stop like that. If it doesn't stop, just hit back. And then go back into the menu, if it didn't stop. Now you go to settings and back up and reset and factory reset the phone once you do this your phone should then let you connect to Wi-Fi it's, it's optional you can then proceed and continue to the menu screen um, I would recommend another factory reset just in case uh, the the account is still attached to it. It shouldn't be, but just in case, I always do another Google or a factory reset, just in case. Um, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe, so that way I can start building my fan base. Well, thanks for watching.